Hello, folks. This is Trask Nari. Welcome to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on the hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Good for her. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. I am Peter Popov. He has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save you, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing yes. into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Yeah, this is what happened the first time I ever tried to play Grand Theft Auto. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sin. Try casting a remove affliction ritual. Instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Listen to me, Abraham. I mean, Isaac's mom. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Preferably in a humorous fashion. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife. From the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled. A young Norman Bates. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. The rug was apparently not evil enough to be removed. Just as his mother burst through his door, <laughs> he threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Hi, uh, welcome to Let's Play Binding of Isaac. I'm sorry for the lack of updates, and you may notice a change in the audio quality. That's because as soon as I moved up to college, my microphone stopped working completely, and I had to buy a new one, and it just arrived, so. Yep, uh, this is Binding of Isaac. We are going to go ahead and play as Isaac for this run. This game is a roguelike, which means it goes ahead and generates a random dungeon. We're Isaac. We shoot tears. Aww. This is basically like if you combined a roguelike with Legend of Zelda. Let's go! Ah. Leave. Leave now, zombie ghosts. Yes. Money is used for things and key is used for things. That door leads to a shop, but it takes a key to get in, and I don't have enough money to warrant using the key. <clears throat> Ooh. I will go ahead and use up a bomb. That color of rock usually contains things. Faith hearts, these are like extra hearts. And it was worth it, for I have received more bombs in return. <clears throat> Each level of the dungeon has a boss, a shop, and one of these rooms. One of these rooms has a random upgrade. <clears throat> wooden spoon! Being beaten with a wooden spoon increases our speed. Hooray for Isaac! Isaac doesn't lead a very happy life. Oh, dear. Bad fly people. Bad fly people and your spawning of the flies. Stop it now. Leave now, zombie ghosts. Ooh, pills. Pills here. Let's see what these do. Aw. It was a dud. Sometimes pills will do cool things, like increase your stats. Uh. Die, stupid head. Good for me. Woo! Another treasure chest. Coins! Wondrous pennies! <clears throat> Die. Die. Ah! That door leads to the boss's chamber. You can go in anytime you want, but it's generally recommended that you uh, make sure you're prepared before you go, usually by finding the crown room or by stocking up on hearts and make sure you've got lots of hearts and bombs. Monstro is usually the first boss you'll fight. He's not too hard. Ow. 
course, I'm not being very careful right now because I've got two faith hearts. He usually just either hops around or uh, does that jump. That jump and his little vomit attack will launch these little orbs at you. As long as you don't back yourself into a corner, you should have enough room to avoid. Generally, you want to avoid left to right as opposed to up to down because it gives you more room to evade. Make sure he's within the range of your attack. Otherwise, your uh, tears won't hit him. Your tears might not hit the giant tumor monster. <clears throat> this is only the third game that I've played that allows me to say that sentence with uh, any kind of accuracy. Ah. Leave now, zombie ghosts. I'm playing very poorly right now, I should note. Ha, die. Ooh, I got a faith heart back. Dinner! <clears throat> that increases our total life count. Isaac has terrible dreams. Oh no! Poor Isaac. Hooray! Um, I'm not going to get those because I don't need hearts right now. Ooh, Mr. Boom. This gives us, gives us a, um, a super powerful bomb that we can use. Um, it reloads. So uh, for every, I think, maybe three rooms we clear, we'll get the use of the bomb back. But I'm not going to go ahead and use it right now because, you know, it's best to uh, make sure that we have it available if we need it. Die flies. Another key. This is a good day for Isaac. Uh-oh, gluttony. Get back to anime where you belong. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ow. I trapped myself. Ah. Ow. Die. Heart. Also, uh... In the minimap in the top corner, it shows uh, what items are laying around in what room, so if you need to go grab more hearts, you know where to go. Man, this is a very easy run. I usually don't find uh, nice... Like, like I, don't, I usually find more enemies than items. Um, ha! Poison! Careful, if uh, the torsos are spurting blood, that means that they can... Uh, they'll randomly shoot projectiles out. If they're not shooting blood, it means you can... As long as you don't let them bump into you, they're pretty harmless. There are just, like, bigger flies at that point. Uh, ooh, these guys, you want to be careful. They go boom. Yeah. Uh, can I find better pills, please? Um, well, I guess it's boss time. Ooh. Larry Jr. Damn it. Uh... Ow. Take ongoing poison damage, fool. Try to roll a saving throw against that. You can't, because it's poison damage. Kaboom. Ooh. We have a devil room. Devil rooms are always worth checking out, but first we get more speed. Devil room. Um, neither of those is really worth getting. One of them gives a guy that follows you around. The other one gives you nine lives, but you only have one heart. But they cost, they cost heart containers to get, so it's not like you have to, like, you take damage in order to buy them. You permanently use the use of, lose the use of those heart containers unless you get more items that give you uh, heart containers. And wow, this room is mean. I just realized I don't have any damage power-ups. Which is not good at this point in the game. You generally want to deal high damage. Full health. I like that pill. It's a very nice pill. And now there are uh, three kinds of uh, maggots. The ones without faces will just kind of aimlessly meander around. The fat ones will shoot a little beam, and the small ones with a face will uh, charge you, as we saw in the last room. You little maggots. Ooh, this item is better than Mr. Boom. My Little Unicorn. Which has absolutely nothing to do with a with a uh, show that's currently being revamped and for some reason has a gigantic following that I can't seem to understand. Nothing to do with that at all. It's its completely owned thing. Ow. Ah. Fine. Murder! 
I feel better now. Uh, these guys are much like the red skeletons from Castlevania. As in, they will die and then reform. So you want to kill them as soon as you can. Um, I'm not going there yet. I'm going to try to recharge my uh, unicorn thing. Ow. Stop. Stop this now. I really want higher damage, please. That'd be great. Um, it's weird. Usually the Devil Room even has items that will give you higher damage, but it just didn't seem to want to uh, play nice. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll use my bombs on the boss, but that really only works the best for uh, Larry Jr. Oh, come on. I don't want to get too close to these guys because they spit flies out. I don't have very many hit points to spare. And because I have low damage at the moment, I can't really take out the um, flies in one hit. Come on. Come on, die, 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 die. This is ridiculous. You die now. Good. Dead. Good riddance. Die. Die. You get to die now. No. No, you get to die now. Stop running away. You can't run away from your troubles. Not anymore. I'll kill you. With the lemons. Um. Right. See, now I'm at the point where I really need more hearts. Oh, God. God, of course I ran into these guys. Here I was talking about how awesome this run was for me. And then I run into my most hated enemy in the game. I hate these things. You can't attack them while they're hiding. Stupid hosts. And if you attack them like this, they'll wait to pop up. Ow. Ha! Oh, come on. Give me hearts, please. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. It's gonna be terrible. Yep, I'm dead. Now, we're gonna go back to the main menu, because I generally don't like playing as Isaac. I've unlocked Kane, who you unlock by getting a certain amount of coins during a playthrough. Kane is my personal favorite character. Now we're going to go ahead and try this one more time with Kane. He's faster, deals higher damage, but has less hearts. But I will appreciate speed and hearts. And, a, and he does not start with a bomb. Which of course means that the game is going to put me in multiple positions where I can't... Where I, where I need bombs in order to get nice things. So, uh, that's nice to know. Ooh, Book of Shadows is a very nice item. It gives you a temporary invin and, uh, invincibility bubble. Okay, we're just gonna try to blitz through this. Coins! Um. No, you guys can go away. Come on. Coins, no help. Um. Start room. Ah. Ah. Ha ha! Ooh. The Hanged Man. This item's nice. It allows you to fly over pits for one room. Ow. I really don't want it. There we go. Ah. I really don't want to use my invincibility item right now. Art, what is this? Two hanged mans, really? Okay, I'm gonna go back see if there's anything nice in the uh, in the shop. Because I'd really like a bomb or a heart right now, and I can afford a bomb. I don't know what the uh, devil horns do. If those are, I, I, because I know the pentagram gives you devil horns, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this one. Kaboom! 
Ah, I didn't get another bomb. But it's fine, I got a faith heart and another coin, so... Whatever. Also key. Who knows, I might get a bomb from this boss. Larry Jr. Larry Jr., I really do not like fighting without a bomb. However, uh, Book of Shadows does make the boss fight a little bit less stressful until your uh, thing runs out. Which it just did, so hooray. As we saw in my first playthrough, uh, bombs make this fight much easier. Ah. No. No. Stop now. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. No. Okay. There are only a few bosses in this game I really hate. Uh, and I can't even remember the name of the one I'm thinking of right now. But I have never actually beaten him because when I get to that point, his attacks are very hard to dodge. And, uh... He does them with disturbing regularity while he summons enemies. Woo! Breakfast! Hooray! Breakfast! Alright, let's keep going. Flies, 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 flies. Die. F little fly monsters. They cause flies. Everything is flies. Tried playing the game, but the game was bees. Bonus points if you know where that's coming, where that uh, comes from. By the way, if you guys uh, like horror and you don't uh, go to SCP, uh, don't know about the SCP Foundation, you really ought to know about the SCP Foundation. And it's SCP, not SPC. Silly people. Die, 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 die. Key. Um, of course I don't have bombs. Why would I have bombs? Why would I do anything useful? Whee! Whee! Because bombs would be con too friggin' convenient. You know what? Get back here. Get back here, you die now. That's what I hate about these enemies. They're always running away. At least these ones are better than the hives. The hives are the really diseased ones. These guys can't spawn flies. They only spawn them when they die. So they're, these guys aren't as bad. They're just kind of annoying to have to chase down all the time. Please give bombs? Oh, it doesn't matter if you give bombs, because I can't get to the bombs. It's in the middle of the flippin' room. Okay. Right. About this. Uh, you need to stop. Ha. I have the upper hand. I have the high ground. I am the Highlander. Bombs? Uh, pills. Come on, another bad gas one. It randomly generates which uh, pills do what every time you play through the game, so it's not like I can have them memorized. If you recall, uh, the bad gas ones were blue last game. Bomb! Let's see what's in here. Woo! Blood of the Martyr! Yes! We now cry tears of blood for we are Jesus. So we're going to go all the way back to this room. All the way back over here. All the way. And we're going to blow this up. And we're going to open this. And it does not have bombs. So we can't get that other thing. But I'm fine because that was a lot of money. And I'm okay with money. And, uh... We're going to go ahead and fight the boss, because we have uh, higher damage now, so I'm okay. Monstro! Yay, Monstro! I like fighting Monstro. Monstro's easy. Hey, now. Knock it off. Knock it off. I'm generally not too concerned fighting Monstro. And it's okay if uh, you're fighting someone like Monstro. If you have, uh, like, three hit... Uh, three hearts or more, you can take a few hits because uh, he's almost guaranteed to always drop a heart or two after after he dies. See? So there's half a heart, there's a faith heart. Wooden spoon! Yay! And now I'm going to go ahead and explore the rest of the level before I leave so that I can see if I can... No. No. 
You always want to extinguish fires if you're really looking for hearts. Occasionally they'll drop hearts or coins. Um, extinguish, extinguish, nah, nothing. Got anything in here? Ooh, they have the shoop de whoop The shoop de whoops kind of awesome, but I can't afford it. Um, I'll go ahead and grab a bomb. But I will go ahead and save it for next floor. And yes, yes, viewers, this is an extremely long LP. It's because I love all of you. Granted, uh, the recording software might crash upon finishing this recording, but it'll be worth it. Why? Because I will become spiteful and hate all of you. And that's what counts. All of my anger. The one thing that really made me want to stop doing LPs. Key. Um, hangman. Troll bomb! Oh my god, I'm so dead. Or not, sucker. Oh, come on, let me hit the guy. Yes. And of course they put a bomb somewhere I can't reach it. Okay, I'm gonna come get you guys. Bomb? I'm gonna... Uh, take pills. I found pills and ate them and it made me derpy. Another chest. Keys. Keys. Boss fight with one heart. Urine monster of hell. Ow. I'm so dead. You will die for my sins. Ow. Well, I'm dead. So, uh, par for the course, guys. I'll see you later.